will start pulling off the back of the plasma. It's probably six months screws all together. Take off around the edges and then from the center. Remember the main problem here is that we're getting six flashing lights in the front. So if you look right here, you'll feel that the power supply comes in from here. It moves its way across and this is the power board that turns it from AC into DC. Feel across the top of these capacitors and you'll find one here. It's actually got a little small one. Be my guess. And as you can see, best case scenario, we'll take a picture of this so that we know exactly where we, all the wires go back. And even now, just looking, I can see that capacitor presents itself and has to be eliminated immediately. Frank, not the time or the place. Starting over to ensure maybe cheaper gloves, dishwashing gloves, even. Right now, we take the board, we'll have a look at it, and I think it's becoming painfully obvious that this particular cap we can actually yeah. find these numbers because they do on the motherboards imprint numbers on each one's on each one of the items on the motherboard. And if you flip it over, you will find that similar item on the other side. So we'll just bring this out to our workbench. Dickhead. What? I'm talking to my video. So we'll unsolder these two. And we should be sitting on them. And then voila, it's ready to replace. Upon further looking for these capacitors, I found another one here that seems to have a short life. We're going to follow through and replace the alternate power supply breakdown panel board and replace it with another capacitor. And I feel much more comfortable in replacing the two. They both had small signs of lumps. The other two feel quite okay.
We've just blown out the motherboard on the Y axis and it looks like the green lights up. It's looking like she's going to be good to go. We've also checked the board on the other side of the TV. shows the diode it says it's good to go so I guess now we can put it all back together suffering cat fur. Last time I did this, I put one upside down. And just clean the cat fur off a few of these cables and reinstall them. Yep, bring back the stuff. Well I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial on what to do and what not to do to repair the basic fixtures associated with plasma or even LCD. <laughs> the six blink diode of red is gone. That was the signal to tell us that it was the power supply within the plasma fixed. The simple capacitors changing have fixed the capacitor. It then changed to eight blinking lights. Eight blinking lights means over here, the y-axis, horizontal lines, the board's playing up. Simply blowing it out with a compressor has fixed it. Other problems that you get, there is four problems that you get with a plasma once it's three, four years old. Very cheap and easy to fix. Sometimes you'll get the vertical bands of black. This is simply a matter of pulling apart, cleaning as we did with the toothbrush, air compressor, put it back together, usually fixed. We saved that we didn't have to buy a Y-axis, a simple air compressor cleaning, not much solvent, and fixed.